Enter the suspense of disbelief. It's the guide for writing and shaping stories. It examines how the feeling of suspense appears in the mind. Between the sex drive and the self-preservation drive lies the drive to believe things. It's in all thinking animals. Belief has three stages, knowing, believing, and thinking. If you break a thought, that's interesting. If you break a belief, that's exciting. If you break knowledge, congratulations, you've just done the impossible. Unexpected but related events break belief. If you try to turn on the lights and they don't go on, the belief drive gives you the feeling of suspense to push you to believe something new. You flick the lights on and off until you believe that nothing will happen. Do you recognize yourself? It's in the moments between ceasing to believe and starting to believe something new where suspense is created. If the lights had turned on, you wouldn't have cared. Hearing about a light turn on when somebody flicks the switch is boring. It's the moments of lies that you should put in your story. If you give people an idea, go there. If you give them a promise, don't. Whoa! You can't tell people what's going to happen. You can only make them believe a false trail and then expose the lie. That's the rule, unexpected but related. Eric Hasso, that's who says who. He sees this in every good story ever told. With the suspense of disbelief, you'll get the tools you need to create the suspense you need to make your stories as good as they can be. This guide is available as a stream or live lecture. Go to thesuspenseofdisbelief.com for more information.